here I am. Um, I actually had to film a bunch of brand content yesterday and by the time I sat down here to do my makeup, my eyelids said, ouch. <laughs> but I'm back today and I was going to film, we're gonna film a look. But for the foundation, I'm gonna hop off and film a first impression. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, the shades they initially sent me were a banana and a pajama. But they were kind enough to send over more shades, so I think, I think Valoris might be good, but there's also Yukon. Yukon's the lighter one. Um, let's go ahead and swatch them right now. Let's shake them up really nice. Again, this is the NARS. I don't even mention the name. I get too excited. Light Reflecting Foundation. It's their newest one. So here is the shade Valoris. Let's see how that dries down. Still looks yellow. That's the thing about NARS. I love NARS complexion, but it runs yellow. And then this is the shade Valoris. I'm putting it on the back of my hand. This one seems right, but it seems too light. Let's see how they dry down. I might have to mix them, which I don't really like doing with first impressions because I understand, I understand not everybody can buy two foundations. But just to try out the formula, I might have to do that. So here they are mixed. Yeah, that almost disappears. So we might have to mix them. So while I was filming content yesterday, I was able to play around with my makeup a little bit more. And I came up with this eyeshadow combo and I found this one particular lid shade, okay? And it's not even a shimmer. And I found it and I went, holy mackerel right I'm talking about fish here <laughs> and it's so pretty and that's what we're gonna do today so we're gonna start with some clean canvas you know the drill I have my windows open which makes the racetrack sound even more aggressive <laughs> so my windows are open and it's probably about 72 outside and I realized that my hoodie was a little bit too hot and I had to put this hair up we're sweating now here it's gonna be pretty smoky, but it's actually going to be pretty easy to accomplish. I started with this shade here. These are all Makeup Geek shadows and I'm going to use an E27 and I just started by pressing this dark shade here on the outer part of my eye. Um, you'll notice that I'm using the side of my brush, really pressing it into the eyeshadow base. And as I'm pressing, it's going to just start to transition itself. I'm gonna relax my eye now. And you'll notice that the only place you see it is here on the lid, but we want it to come out of the crease. So I'm gonna relax my eye and I'm gonna place it where I want it. Now I want you to notice that there's gonna be a gap here because I'm shading with my eye open. Once you kind of have that shape, just go ahead and close your eye. Or if you can't close one eye, which I forget most people can't because I am so strange. <laughs> Um, just go ahead and just tilt your head back and you'll be able to see where to fill in that gap. Again with the pressing. Now we can look straight ahead again, continue the shading. I'm going to talk a little bit more about shading and placement today since I'm going to do my foundation off camera. So now I want it to have a little bit more of a wing shape. So I'm using whatever's left here on the brush and I'm starting from the lash line and you'll see how I'm holding the brush as well. I want you to see that. I'm holding this, the pointier side towards my lashes. And since everything's kind of set this way, I'm ever so lightly dragging that brush. So I'm kind of just going press, pull, press, pull. We are going to transition this more, but I do want it to have some lift to it. Now I'm grabbing the shade. I'm going to pick it up here. It's called Cheetah Bear. And notice that we're going to grab, the, this is so important. I'm not sure why more people don't talk about it. Um, even the way you pick up your shadow with your brush. So I'm not going to dig. I'm not going to swipe back and forth. And that's one of the reasons you never hear me go, because I'm very deliberate with how I pick up this eyeshadow. 
So all I want to do is I want to just grab it like that. You see that. You'll see that the brush picks up that eyeshadow and that's exactly how much we need. Also, these brushes are they're very special when it comes to picking up eyeshadow, but that's a whole different story. So now I'm going to take this shadow and I'm going to ever so lightly, I'm kind of pressing it first into the brown and then from there, I'm going to start to press up towards. I'm not really pulling that shadow. I'm pressing it and just kind of going upwards and you'll see how smooth that transition starts to look. We're gonna add a little bit more. The best thing to do is to always grab the smallest amount. Be very deliberate with how you pick your eyeshadow up. That way you're not adding way too much eyeshadow to your eye and then having to swipe back and forth. And a lot of times that's when eyeshadow becomes dull or it gets patchy. I only know this because of all the mistakes I have made. We're getting to the good part. So this is gonna be our lid color and our brow bone color. I'm not sure if you can see, but this is like a yellow cream and just wait. So I am gonna carve out my lid a little bit more, but first I'm gonna grab this. I really wanna start showing you how I'm picking up the eyeshadow. See that? And I'm just gonna to start to press that on my brow bone and press it over this way. You can see it just kind of smooths everything too. I picked up a little bit more. I went one, two. I want it to be a little brighter here and then smooth it over this way. Look how pretty that is. So I'm gonna show you how I did it, but I'm gonna keep packing it on over here. Look at this. I feel like yellow cream is the color. It's the color. It's so fresh, but somehow vintage. I don't know, I did this eye look yesterday and it just spoke to me. So I'm not gonna grab a sharp brush to carve out my lid. This one is gonna be plenty. I'm just gonna kind of pull whatever eyeshadow primer is over here, tap it out. You just saw me wipe that on my hand just to make sure that if there's any dark eyeshadow, I just kind of smoothed it out. That's good enough. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab this, but what I'm gonna do, I'm still not gonna swipe back and forth, but I'm gonna kind of pull it about two or three times. Really load that on the brush because I'm wanting to cover this space pretty quickly and evenly. And since it's a lighter color, we have a lot more control. If this was a dark shade, we have to scale it back and build it. But with lighter shades, you don't really have to be as precise. Look how pretty that color is. I love it. I love it. It's, I mean, the only way to say it is yellow cream. Y'all need to get it. If I do want a little bit of definition, all I have to do is switch to an E27, pick up that eyeshadow, and I'll just kind of tap it and just carve out through here. You can see that you get that precision. While Jean Bean snores, we love to hear a Jean Bean snore. There we go. Okay, this is an amazing black eyeshadow. This is Corrupt, also from Make a Peak, and we're gonna grab that on an E26. I'm gonna completely relax my eye. Now this does not have to be perfect because I kind of want it a little smudgy and a little smoky. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of pull it this way, and I want it to be pretty straight. I'm going for a little bit different shape. I'm not going for this kind of angled out this shape. I want the wing to kind of be this way since this is already going that way. So I'm just gonna kind of keep shading. And I like to do this with my eye open. If we could only all take naps like Jean Bean. Okay, so I have been loving the Ardell Naked Lashes in 420. But one of my lovely friends here on IG suggested that I try 421 and that's what I have on here and let me tell you they were not wrong this is a floofin good time this lash band's amazing too very very thin extremely comfortable and I'm using duo dark tone lash glue okay now I'm going to hop off and film my first impression of the NARS light reflecting foundation so far shade range banana i'll be right back so i have the foundation on 
and um, we'll just wait for the video. We'll just wait on that. I'm gonna be setting today with my Rare Beauty powder and a puff, just search Makeup Puff on Amazon. I really get in there impressed though. I will take, so I just put concealer underneath my eyes. I kind of want to see how the foundation looks everywhere else once we're done. Uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD shade 25. My time with this. I'm gonna go ahead and set the center of my face as well, including my forehead, but I'm not quite there yet. And just to see how the foundation looks, I'm just gonna powder the center of my face. I'm not gonna worry about the outer perimeter. I'm gonna grab this Mario Shaping Stick. This is the shade medium, and I'm just gonna use a little bit of it, just right through there. And the reason that I'm able to apply it right now is because remember, there's no powder on the outer perimeter. And you'll also see me dab this one because it's pretty pigmented, so I don't wanna go wild. Also, um, I feel like we need to talk a little bit more about bronzers and contours. This is a bronzer. You'll see how warm it is. Contour is much cooler. Um, is this a nice contour? That's more of a contour shade. Is that one? Hang on. Nope. I've got a better one. Got a better one than that one. Yeah, that was it. So this one's a little bit more cool. So when you're thinking contour, or I can just show you this. This is an even better display. This is very cool toned um, as opposed to something like this. So that's the difference. I feel like we really need to discuss that this year. I'm going to grab the C40 and I like to use a fluffier brush because I really like to diffuse this. I don't want a harsh line here. Um, you'll also see me bouncing and pressing this in. That's really pretty. And also you'll notice that I have taken this above the actual kind of sunken in part here of my cheek because that's where bronzer would naturally hit. That's where the sun is going to hit and add all of that warmth. It's also going to add warmth here to the very top part of my forehead. I'm never shaping. I'm always just kind of warming the face. This is a fun demonstration. If you still want to add some contour, I recommend doing that after the bronzer. Um, I'm going to grab this shade just because it was the closest to me and a, a lot more cool tone than what I just applied and what I'm going to do is for this I am going to kind of follow that hollow. Ha, ah, it's cute. I'm not going to follow it all the way down. I'm going to kind of cut through here. Now, you don't really see me contouring because for me, I feel like it looks best in pictures and video. Um out and about, it can look very shadowy. So, just be very light-handed. So, for the contour, I'm kind of just adding a little bit here. I'm not going towards my widow's peak. Since that comes down, I don't really need to shorten that, that area. But I do like a little bit through here if I am going to contour. Um, definitely the jawline. This is where it gets a little spicy in person, going underneath here. And then you're like, ooh, look at that line! Because no matter how much you blend a contour, contour is supposed to be seen. It's a wild ride. Also, I come from the year of makeup. The year was 2016, and I tell you, sometimes, sometimes we were reaching for gray eyeshadow just to go to the store. That's who we were. I'm still proud of it. So I have that first brown eyeshadow that we laid down, and I'm just going to smudge it here on my lash line with an E26. Yes, this is very spicy. Oh, I forgot to show you. I am so bad. I actually grabbed this Myra Cosmetics pencil here, this nude pencil, and that is what is on my waterline. So I'll do a second coat. Extra bright. This is so good. And then, since everything over here is set, I can kind of pull this towards the edge of my brow. Just kind of extend it, soften the line underneath there. Remember, everything's set, so... I'm still not really going back and forth, but I'm kind of just grabbing this right here and always pulling out this way, just kind of flicking it that way. Okay, so I want to do a brownie maroon lip, very 90s, very 90s. Okay, but stay with me here. Don't, don't run away from brown lip liner. There's technique behind it these days. So I'm just going to do a rough outline. And when I say rough outline, I don't care if it looks like that. We need a lip brush. I feel like lip brushes are totally underrated. 
Right now we're applying MAC Del Rio lipstick. Mm -hmm. Extra spicy. So I'm going to kind of continue to add definition with the lip liner. So 90s. This look is so spicy, it might need to run through the Dairy Queen drive through because right now I want a Hawaiian blizzard. All right, I'm done. I'm going to go finish filming the NARS first impression. And then I also just filmed like a quick little tutorial. That way I can post all the details of this look this evening. Um, today we learned we all need a banana cream colored eyeshadow because this is the color. This is the color of the year right here. Also, brown lip liner with Del Rio lipstick is extra spicy. I'm going to go finish all of my filming. I might even take a picture. That's how spicy I feel. I love makeup. It's so fun. Um, I love you all so much. I hope y'all have a wonderful, peaceful, blessed weekend. And we will see you tonight in the comments. And always remember that I don't do story tutorials Saturday and Sunday. Um, I usually take that time to film content and spend it with Benny. So if I disappear on the weekends, that's where I'm at. I love you all so much. And I'll see y'all tonight.